It's now harder to know if you are buying a dog from a puppy mill or a reputable breeder. That is because the USDA has removed its inspection records of animal facilities from its website, all of them, sparking outrage from animal rights groups who say the information is vital to people who are shopping around for a pet. The USDA is citing privacy concerns as well as pending litigation. But the Humane Society says if a restaurant fails an inspection, there isn't any expectation of privacy, and they say animal facilities should be held to the same standard. Standards. We're not talking about state secrets here. We're talking about animal welfare inspection reports. This is data that should be up on the internet so that people can find it at their fingertips. Well, the change in federal reporting has made us wonder what might be happening on the state level about this. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock did some digging to find out more. Andy. Rhiannon, Governor Eric Greitens new budget proposal would cut nearly $4 million from Missouri's Department of Agriculture budget. The department oversees inspections of dog breeders and illegal operations like puppy mills. Those inspections fall under the animal health program. In the governor's budget proposal, that specific line item would be up very slightly from what the current fiscal year expense is estimated to be. But it would be down from the 2016 budget year by about $300,000. In September 2015, 41 Action News reported there were 14 inspectors and two veterinarians to cover the whole state. Those people are responsible for doing routine inspections as well as investigating complaints and illegal operations. Currently, there are 11 inspectors and three vets. Now, at this point, it's unclear if the governor's budget proposal might impact that number or not. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.